This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Launch number one. Launch number two. Launch number three. Launch number four. Launch number five. Launch number six. Launch number seven. Launch number eight. Launch number nine. All right, we're back home now. Let's take a look at the Google Sheet. So you see, this was the, the latest result, 6.18 seconds. And then according to spec, nowadays it's supposed to be 6.1 seconds. But you know, the latest version of the Model 3 SR Plus 60 kilowatt hour is supposed to have a, a less powerful but more efficient motor. And do, is that the case here? Because some people claim that I have the Unicorn, which is still the more powerful motor, but the 60 kilowatt hour. Well, I'm actually not sure because if you look here, they see the summer result was 5.5 seconds. That's pretty fast, and according to spec, it's 5.6, so it's right on par with that one. But then, when I did it with this exact same car, but with winter tires, and maybe it was slipping a little bit, I'm not sure about that one. You can see the CO2 100 time, yeah. But then it suddenly became 6.1 seconds. Uh, and it's supposed to still be 5.6 seconds. So that's why I'm not sure about this one, uh, how uh, we do this, but at least this time we didn't slip that much. We didn't go into some snow mode. And the next spreadsheet here goes more into detail. And then we look at the, all the, the different launches and you see also here we have the, the Made in China. Well, this is the LFP that was done in summer, but then I don't have the winter run because I only did four runs. It didn't do the 90 to 10% with the winter run with the previous version. But at least here is the one we tested recently Recently. And at least what we see with the, well, the, I should have added maybe an MIC, which is made in China on these two. These are the, the LFP batteries and you see that it, it is consistently slower, but is it because of winter or is it because of a, a less powerful motor? Actually, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it is super uh, linear. I'm going to show you here. This is the normalized numbers, and you can see that again. If I highlight uh, highlight this and this, you see that uh, it is super flat. Uh, the 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 acceleration of the power output is super linear all the way to actually all the way to 10%. Uh, the the performance all the way to well until the battery is empty is super linear, even more linear than e-tron GT. <laughs> uh, but it, if you look on this tab, you will see more detail about uh, all the stuff I recorded with Scanma Tesla. And then here we just repeat some of the numbers. But if you look down here, the battery temperature, this was a summer run versus the winter run. And I simply couldn't heat up more than 41 degrees Celsius for some reason. It just stopped, stopped preheating before supercharging. And I have supercharged at Klefta right nearby. But anyway, uh, you will see that the temperature and the summer run was higher because uh, we had, yeah, 
you saw we had around minus six degrees or something minus six minus seven degrees on the winter run so naturally the the battery or the car wants to scavenge heat from the battery but still you see that towards the end it will still try to keep a minimum temperature which seems to be around 20 degrees celsius to still get the good performance and again oh shit and if i highlight these two you will see that the power uh, seems to be lower on this car despite that we have same same state of charge if you look up here s a similar similar temperature and I, I also know that 0.7 degrees celsius is not going to give you 30 kilowatt more power so at least over here now we see that this is quite uh, significant that we, we we seem to have lower power on this car versus the the, the previous version so again um I'm not sure, but you can see, uh, by the way, you can see uh, through the whole uh, uh, line all the way down here uh, that uh, previously we got way more power. Actually, even at 10%, at we still had more power than at 90% uh, and pretty hot battery here. So I don't know what you guys think. Uh, do we have the unicorn? Uh, okay, we're not sitting in this, but we're sitting in the Merc right now. <laughs> um, but do we, is this, I mean, the, the, the car I tested, is that the unicorn? I don't think so. I think it has the the, the new, the, the less powerful motor based on what you see now. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys think, but I think some people even look up on the VIN and they claim that, no, no, you have the unicorn, but I'm not sure the numbers are, tells me a different story. So what do you guys think? Do I have the unicorn or do I have the, the standard 60 kilowatt hour with less powerful motor? But then that should mean that that car is more efficient. Hmm. Maybe we should wait until the weather is better and we should try to see how efficient it can become. Okay, but maybe before I do some efficiency tests, I have to get the pizza wheels out uh, and maybe get some standard tires, wheels, rims on it. Uh, we'll see. But okay, for you guys who are interested, those wheels, by the way, you can get them from uh, Moschus Yule. Yeah. All right, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.